So this reactor is basically a way of developing pyrolysis or char. And this is called a T-LUD, a top light updraft type of gasifier. Now the whole point in this uh, activity is that we are going to do pyrolysis reaction, but we want it separated from the combustion reaction. The reactor has four parts. It's got a lid with a chimney to the combustion chamber, and then a lid to the pyrolysis chamber. The pyrolysis chamber has holes in the bottom of the can, which allow the uh, wood gas to escape. And then finally, the combustion chamber on the outside. Now this has holes in it, but they're on the side, and they allow oxygen into, the, in this case, the paint can. In order to put this together, the pyrolysis chamber goes into the combustion chamber, but we put wood into the pyrolysis chamber. This eventually is going to become char. To that, we add the lid. And then, before, even before we add the second lid, the one to the combustion chamber, we add wood to this one. Now, this one is just fuel. It provides heat for the reaction. Eventually, it will become ash. When the chamber is lit, we can start to look at the two different reactions that occur. We light the wood on the top, in order to kickstart the pyrolysis reaction on the inside. The burning or combustion up here provides heat for the wood on the inside, the pyrolysis chamber, and that essentially bakes the wood. Gases come out of this wood and escape through the holes in the bottom of the pyrolysis chamber and then travel up the outside in the combustion chamber. Here they mix with oxygen and then those wood gases are combust in a lot of oxygen. These materials continue to move up and out the chimney, providing more heat for more pyrolysis, for more wood gas, for more combustion. What's cool about this chamber is eventually the combustion will burn out all of the fuel on the outside in the combustion chamber, but leaving biochar in the middle.